In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and use Power Tools for OpenXML. The source code for the Power Tools and links to all of the downloads mentioned in this screencast can be found at codeplex.com slash powertools. To build and use Power Tools, you need to have a copy of Visual Studio installed. Any version will do, including Express Edition. You also need to have PowerShell 1.0 installed. The Power Tools rely on the OpenXML SDK, which is a .NET class library that makes it more convenient to work with OpenXML, so you also need to download and install it. Next, download and unzip the Power Tools for OpenXML. Put the source code anywhere you like. I'll unzip it in c colon backslash demo. Start Visual Studio. If you're running on Windows Vista, you will need to run Visual Studio as administrator as the Power Tools project automatically installs the Power Tools into PowerShell, which requires administrator privileges. Open the project and build the solution. Start a PowerShell command prompt. Run the PowerShell command prompt as administrator, as one of the example scripts that I'm going to show you uses the get process commandlet, which requires administrator privileges. Before you are able to run any scripts in PowerShell, you must first set the execution policy. We also need to add the snap in to the current console. The first thing we'll do is type a command that gets all processes and pipes them into a commandlet that creates an OpenXML spreadsheet. And when we open this spreadsheet, you can see all of the data that we got from the get process commandlet. And as expected in PowerShell, we can get help for each commandlet. The help for all of the PowerTool commandlets include examples of use. If we want to control the columns that are imported into the spreadsheet, we can use the Select Object commandlet to select just the properties that we want to see. Let's create a spreadsheet and chart the graph's process usage of CPU and memory. I've created a small script to do this named chartprocess.ps1. The script calculates the total CPU time used and total pageable memory used for all processes. The script gets all processes, sorts the data in descending order, calculates the percentages used for each process, sorts the data in ascending order, and exports the data to a spreadsheet. Let's run it. When we open the spreadsheet, we can see the data, and we can also see the chart. To tell the commandlet to create a chart, you have to specify the chart type, the columns to chart, and the column to use for the header. Here's another example. In this example, We'll create a few objects, put them into an array, and then chart the data in the array. And then take a look at the output. There we can see the data, and there's our chart. You can see that you can create spreadsheets and charts from just about any data that you can come up with in PowerShell. There are a number of commandlets in these Power Tools that allow you to create and format OpenXML documents. This script first creates a word processing document. It initializes the styles part of the document. It sets the style of the heading paragraph. It adds some text to it. It formats the text. 
It then gets the files in the current directory and adds the file names as new paragraphs to the document. And let's look at the resulting document. And there's our formatted text and there's the results of the directory listing. In this script, when we are adding content or formatting paragraphs, we specify the location in the document using an XPath expression. We also specify the markup to add. This is a very powerful approach that allows you to modify OpenXML documents in a wide variety of ways. This, of course, requires some knowledge of the OpenXML formats. This example builds on the previous script. I've created an XML file that contains a list of customers to whom I want to send a sales letter. In addition, I've created a PowerShell script that is about 70 lines long that uses the command list to automatically generate word processing documents. It is similar to the previous script, except that it uses the XML processing capabilities of PowerShell and generates multiple documents. There's all our documents that were generated. I'll pick a document at random and open it. Another situation where the power tools are helpful is when preparing a large number of documents for publication outside of your company. You may want to make documents be consistent. You may want to make sure that each document has a consistent style all revisions are accepted, all comments are removed, and a confidential watermark is added. Let's open these documents. So we can see that there are all kinds of revisions in this document. This document has some strange formatting applied to the styles. It also has some comments and this document has some revisions and comments. So let's run the script. Let's take a look at the documents now. You can see that all revisions are accepted. They all have a common formatting style and all comments are removed. So I'd like to invite you to download and use the Power Tools. And if you're a developer that's interested in either OpenXML or PowerShell, I'd like to invite you to come and participate in the project.